article. Quick little rant about Wired. Um, I love Wired. I think it's a great magazine. Uh, I really love reading their digital edition. I think they do such a good job on like the Kindle Fire, for example, of uh, making it very suited to that device, Very everything from the formatting to the little interactive things to the slightly animated charts that they do. Uh, it's fantastic. So a couple months ago, I noticed that it was no longer giving me that version of the magazine on my Kindle. It was now just giving me a very boring, like, here's the pages of the magazine. Here's a crappy little page turning animation and so it's like reading the physical magazine just smaller which is a shame because again the digital version felt like an enhanced version of the original magazine and was more fun to read dare I say that so I actually called Wired this month when the same thing happened again and was like what's the deal do you guys stop doing the digital version and turns out that for no reason really they just decided to stop supporting the uh, older Kindle fires now you really have to have the newest Kindle fire or an iPad in order to get the digital edition and I think that's a shame because clearly they still could support uh, the older Kindle Fires, and mine isn't that old. It's, you know, maybe a 2013 model, and so that's that's really a shame. Um, and I can say this very quick about this month, because I did read through this whole month's article. The best article uh, that I'd recommend, I'm sure it's available online, is a really interesting one about a kid that uh, was basically having 100, 100 seizures a day, and the experimental treatments that they, they did to try to figure that out. Um, spoiler alert, some of it involves cannabis pot kind of interesting uh, this the big cover story this month is everything with Rashida Jones who you might know from Parks and Recreation and she's written some movies and starred in some movies and um, it's her basically saying, here's how you can organize your life and do it all. And you'd think I'd be really excited about something like that because I am often trying to organize my life in such a way where I can do it all. I think the tagline for it was like, uh, work and play all day or something like that. Um, or all work and all play. Yeah, it makes Jack a happy boy. No. Uh, and here's the thing that I found kind of interesting about reading this kind of section of the magazine is it feels very tailored to people that already have like a lot of money and a lot of comfortable stuff stuff going on in their life and all they're trying to do, like they don't have to worry about money, they don't even have to worry so much about uh, the projects they're doing, finding work, anything like that. It's just like, how do I do all the things on my plate in an organized way and, uh, you know, make it easy? Which is, I mean, to be fair, I, I have enough projects going on now that there's uh, a certain element to that that I find attractive, but there's also kind of a condescending, patronizing element to the whole thing where it's just kind of expecting that you're already successful in doing everything you want to do, you just have to figure out a better way to do it. So anyway, not a super important issue to be worried about, but hey, all us old Kindle Fire users, let's band together and, and tell Wired that we really like the digital edition. I, I might be the only person who cares about this. And yes, don't be like Apple, you know, let, let's support the older models of things and not make people upgrade every year.